प्रेजिडेंट गार वस्ते इकड़े कुर्चा Everybody has come. Okay, kindly give it. Yes, sir. Yes, is to be off. Somebody be there. If they can't hear, I will raise them. Okay. When I say like this, you kindly.
Thank you very much, sir. The beautiful land of Trilinga, of rivers Krishna and Godavari, the rice bowl of India, warmly welcomes our beloved President of India, Honorable Sri Prakant. Pranav, and a divine moment for all of us at FAPSI, a 95 year old Apex Chamber of Commerce and Industry of the state. Our President and, and also his Excellency Sri Narsimangaru and the Honorable Minister to this. We are very happy that the Excellency Sri Mati Catherine Dhanani, Consul General of United States of America, Islamic Republic of Iran are with us and we have great pleasure in extending them a cordial welcome. <laughs> we electronic and print media and many other dignitaries and invitees, we extend them a warm welcome. I request our President Sri Devendra Srana to speak to this August Assembly. Thank you. Respected Sri Pr Pranam Mukherjee, President of Minister for State for Social Justice and Empowerment, Dr. Geeta Reddy, Minister of Major Industries, GAMFAP, past presidents, managing committee members, distinguished guests and invitees, members of FAPC, I'd like to congratulate our President on assuming this office. Sir, its place in the Committee of Nation under your leadership. Sir, 30 years back, the Federation in the Ritz Hotel. Your excellent speech on the Indian economy and its state and its future made me a student of must congratulate you for the great efforts you have put in for the implementation of GST and we hope that it has world went. Today, sir, unfortunately, our country is once again facing a similar situation, waste and low in industrial productivity. Power is the lifeline of industry. And unfortunately, for the past few months, in a bad situation of power, we have about 50% power cut. And the price of power has almost doubled because of tariff increase and because of unjust FSAs as today is. Andhra Pradesh is in the center of our country. It has one of the largest coastlines. It has two very abundant rivers running. The best in the world is definitely the best in the country, sir. We are also very fortunate today to have a maximum number of ministers from our state. And I think we have nowhere to go but up. The demographics of our country are at its sweetest knees in those years. Thirdly, globalization has made sure that everybody will come closer in terms of their potential. These three factors, low cost, demographics and globalization, really put in a proper uh, housing for the rural poor who move into urban areas for their work. The second is skill development. And I feel our state government under Rajiv Yuva Kirnalu is doing a great job here, making sure that all the youth in this state are employable and there is a great employment potential. Thirdly and lastly, sir, sir, in this area, the direct cash transfer is a great beginning and hopefully this will move to its logical conclusion. There, my firm belief is uh, any sector which is taxed should not be given subsidy, subsidies to any sector. So people like us should not be given free uh, subsidized petrol or gas. Rather, if anything, uh, Happy New Year to all of you and welcome to the Federation. Thank you very much. Honorable Sri Pranam Sri Balram Nayak Garu, Minister of Government of India, Sri Srimati Ji Gita Reddy Garu of this gathering. Good evening to all of you. I just want to say, recall about 30 years ago when I met Sri Pranam Kumar Mukherjee. I represented uh, the ceramic industry at that time as a license holder. I just went and told him, sir, the country need for use or consumption. Then immediately, within 10 days, to the greatest shock in my life, within 10 days, that was reduced to 12%, about 680 million square, kilo, square meters of uh, tile products, there, thereby about 18,000 crores worth of time. And today, about 550,000 people depend in that industry. And it's, uh, it has come a long way after your initiation, sir. So this, I just wanted to mention it to you. 
As a matter of fact, equitable distribution. And when it comes to information technology and communications department, the <coughs> principles, if we compare Hyderabad 10 years ago to what we have now, the market change that we see is the explosion of the IT sector in the city from the state of Andhra Pradesh. Very recently, the central government has approved, in principle, for setting up of information technology investment region in an area of 202 square kilometers in two phases over a period of 25 years. The ITIR is expected to create a direct employment of 15 obtained a job at Enfosys, a maid son obtained a job offers in two multinational companies. This boy background is a tremendous motivation to the entire village or the neighborhood. The role of the government is to ensure that we design policies so that such equitable distribution is ensured and we are up to the task. We have taken up Me Seva program uh, on a large scale to ensure that all the government to citizen services are delivered in a hassle-free manner over the counter. Our AP government has pioneered the uh, fiber uh, brand connectivity and is on the way to have 25,000 gram panchayats to have the connectivity 2,000 crores. AP is also ahead in rolling out 4G services along with Delhi and Bombay metropolitan areas. In the context of Telugu Mahasabalu, uh, you have uh, inaugurated, sir, and we have taken up Telugu Vijayam in which the Telugu SMS facility on the, uh, on the mobile service where even the uh, NREG worker is able to use the mobile today. Please, please, please move on, move on. I request our uh, Vice President Sri Shukumar Rungta to felicitate the Union Minister for Social Justice and Employment, Minister for uh, Major Industry. <laughs> Dr. Gita Ritigar. Thank you very much. I now request <laughs> General Secretary Sri Rajeshwar Ragaru, Sri Nivas Ayadevara, Kumar Rungta, and of course at 29,000 crores, recording a growth of 67%. This is period of 2007. 2012. The industry sector contributes about 25% to the state GDP as the best performing state in manufacturing among the southern states. 